My Southwestern chicken pot pie. This is chicken pot pie if the chicken crossed the street and on the other side of the street was Mexico. One day when I went grocery shopping by chance in the freezer section, I saw a new vegetable blend. You know, I usually use the one that's got like the peas and the carrots. This had onions, corn, black beans. It had everything. This little pack, what I call my Southwestern mix, was the inspiration for the entire dish. And now it's my go-to pot pie. I keep it Mexican and Southwestern all the way, Tex-Mex. But when it really gets down to it, what makes this the best chicken pot pie ever is I took the time to make the dough. And you can too, just watch me, but first things first, I gotta preheat my oven to 375 degrees. All right, head to the fridge. The key here is ice cold butter, ice cold water. Why? It makes for a very flaky crust. And I have a secret ingredient in my dough that makes it the Southwestern chicken pot pie dough. Sazon. It's got garlic powder, some cumin, salt, and annatto. That's what I really want is the annatto for the color. I'm gonna put a little bit of it in the water for the dough, and the rest is gonna go on the inside in the chicken pot pie. All right, so get some flour into the food processor. Full stick of butter, nice pinch of salt. Blitz, blitz, blitz till it comes together. Add in the water. Form that into a ball and put it in a plastic wrap right into the refrigerator and let it sit. The next step is gonna be poaching the chicken. It's really smart to use legs and thighs because they're gonna be nice and juicy, got the skin on them. And then I add to the pot a couple of garlic cloves, some sprigs of thyme, and then a pinch of salt. Bring this up to a simmer until the chicken cooks fully on the inside and then let it rest so I can shred it down and I start working on the vegetable filling. Now that's really simple. I've got some butter in here. I'm just gonna add a little bit of olive oil, garlic, serrano, fresh thyme, salt, some pepper, a little bit of cumin, the whole Southwestern thing going on here. And you just wanna kinda get everything really tender. Now it's time to add in the frozen vegetables. You can find it in your grocery store. Oh, look at that, it's beautiful already. It's the inspiration for this dish. Add a little bit of the reserve liquid from poaching the chicken so it's flavorful. Oh yeah. Add the flour, and what the flour is gonna do is allow everything to thicken up. And then that's when you wanna add in the milk. All right, here comes the DJ. Not a party without a DJ. <laughs> AKA the chicken. I'm gonna turn off the heat, add in the Mexican crema. Remember this? Now it's time to get that little disc of dough. Roll it out and turn it into a nice crust for your chicken pot pie. Pour in the filling. Look at that. Then take the crust, flap it over the top. Flap it over the top, flap it over the top. All right, now it's time for my egg wash. Oh, need a brush, need an egg and a little splash of water, whisk it up. And this is what's gonna give it the curb appeal so it leaves a nice kind of golden shiny sheen after it cooks. Get it into the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes until things are nice and bubbly and the crust is golden brown. Take it on out. Hot, hot, hot. Let it cool down. Dig in. Let's just be real. Anything that's cooked in bread or pastry or dough, you know, you got me at hello. Can ah. I for seconds? Yeah, you can have seconds. He wants seconds. That's what I'm talking about.